Hello, and welcome back to Ignore My Freshly Washed Hair. Uh, my name is Balashera, and I've been playing Pokemon since it first came out, uh, back in the 90s. Um, and I, with Scarlet and Violet coming out, there's a couple of things that um, I want the game to include. So this is going to be uh, my wish list for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, the first thing on my list is a, specifically the Battle Frontier, but good post-game in general is what I'm looking for. Uh, there's a couple of games before that have had pretty decent post-game, like uh, Black and White's uh, Train Station was pretty good. Um, but in my personal opinion, nothing has been as good since the Battle Frontier back in Pokemon Emerald. And I, I can't remember which one of the games took another run at a Battle Frontier, but one of them did. I think it was Platinum. Um, but it didn't hold up to what Emeralds was. And I'd really, really like to see something like the original Pokemon Emerald Battle Frontier make a return to Generation 9. Uh, secondly, I think is something that we can all agree we want out of this new game is a new evolution. I don't care if it's rock type, ground type, steel type, dragon type, poison type. Give me something. I don't care what type it is. Even better if it's more than one. But I'm only asking for one. <laughs> uh, the third thing would be some kind of uh, Pokemon park or ability to play with your Pokemon and feed them and really feel like you're actually growing that bond and that relationship with them. There have been a couple of games in the past, like uh, Pearl and Diamond, uh, Black and White, and even Legends Arceus has had the ability to feed wild Pokemon, but none of them have really felt like that complete experience. A lot of them have felt like pieces and parts of it. Shield and Sword definitely got the closest to it with the whole uh, curry and camping concept, but something about it was just a little bit, it didn't quite feel right. Maybe it was because it didn't feel right that every single Pokemon liked curry, uh, because every single human certainly doesn't. Why should every Pokemon? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. But I think building on that concept would be really, really good for both Generation 9 and any other future games to come out. Uh, number four on my wish list is definitely a personal want. I just want a new shark Pokemon. I love Sharpedo to death. He's great, he's really strong, especially Mega Sharpedo, and Garchomp is also great, but Sharpedo is the only aquatic shark Pokemon we have. And originally in the beta version of Gold and Silver, there was going to be um, a steel water Pokemon. It did end up being remade into Sharpedo and Ruby and Sapphire, but still, Sharpedo's really the only shark Pokemon that we have that's like an aquatic shark and not a land shark. I'd really like to see another one added to the roster. Um, my fifth one for this game is something that I don't expect to happen, but I really would like to see happen, is even if it's just in the post-game, access to previous Mega Evolutions and Dynamaxes and Z-Crystals and all the other gimmicks that other generations have given us. I know not everybody liked Mega Evolution, not everybody liked Dynamax and Gigantamaxing, not everybody liked the Z-Crystals and the Z-Moves, but there are a lot of us that did, and I think incorporating those into the game so that we can use them, and then maybe even making part of the post-game, if you do go with the Battle Frontier, different game modes based on which of those gimmicks you want to use, none of them being an option. That would be a really cool way to do it. Uh, number six is another thing I think we all want, but I, I, I don't know if they have the ability to make it happen, but that would be a national Pokedex. With the addition of Scarlet and Violet, we're looking at the possibility of over a thousand different Pokemon in the Pokedex. If we count every single Pokemon from the beginning of its inception, and especially with all the different forms they have, all the Mega Evolutions and alternate forms, and there's even Pokemon like Deoxys, where even from its inception in Ruby and Sapphire, it had four different forms. Counting all of those, we're probably already well over a thousand, so it's a lot of information that has to go into the programming of the game, so I understand why that might not be possible, but that doesn't stop it from being something we all want. Uh, lastly on my list is number seven, and that's going to be new Mega Evolutions. There's a lot of really cool ones that haven't been done before. There's Flygon, Dragonite, Hydreigon, Kingdra, uh, Machamp, Polyrath. Mega Hypno would even be cool to see. There's a lot of really cool ideas that just haven't been exercised there. That as somebody who was a huge fan of Mega Evolution in Gen 6 and the uh, Gen 3 remakes, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, or Alpha Sapphire um, I would love to see more of those Mega Forms. I think that was a really neat, um, impactful concept that um, as much as I enjoyed the Z-Crystals and the Dynamaxing, they just haven't measured up to what the Mega Evolutions brought to the, to the format. And I'd really like to see them return at some point. Um, that's all I got 
Um, that's basically going to be my entire wish list for uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Hopefully some of it comes true. We'll see. Peace out.